I'm Paul Halsey and I work in educational publishing. I've, I've done a lot of different things. None of them were staff positions. They were all either project-based or contract. It was fine as long as it was going. I mean, I worked at um, McGraw-Hill for 10 years on a, con on a yearly contract and uh, that was great. The situation I'm finding myself in now is that I've been looking for over six months and I haven't been able to find anything. My job is looking for a job eight hours a day. Now that doesn't mean I'm looking eight hours solid because I have other things to do. I, I have to eat, I, you know, I'll take a break and, 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 and go to the gym, I'll read the newspaper, but in between those things, I'm looking for work. Looking involves uh, mainly answering want ads, which I do every day. Um, I've emailed my LinkedIn network several times. Uh, unfortunately, most of my contacts are in publishing, so a lot of them are in the same position I'm in, if not worse. Um, I've gone to networking events and seminars. I've tried cold calling people and cold emailing people. I've tried to um, uh, cold email people in the cable television industry. Uh, I went on an interview to be a hotel concierge, so I am open to other industries. I've had seven interviews so far. Uh, sometimes um, that's another thing that's happening now too, is that now uh, a lot of times you have to go through a phone interview first just to get an in-person interview. So I've had a number of phone interviews as well, and you know not all of them necessarily lead to in-person interviews. I was collecting unemployment. Um, I did have some profit sharing from one of my last jobs that I've used up. So uh, at this point I have nothing, and, that, and that's why I had to uh, file for welfare and food stamps this morning. I'm shocked to find myself in this position. I, I thought when I, when I first got laid off, I thought I was going to find something right away. And then when I didn't, it, it just seems like every month that goes by, I'm just more and more incredulous. Unemployment benefits need to be extended so I can cover my basic expenses and continue looking for work. I mean, the fact that I've had to go through all of this stress worrying about my unemployment benefits on top of the stress that I already had looking for a job, it's, you know, it's a wonder that I'm not in the hospital right now. I think politicians are getting away with murder. It's, it's, it's unbelievable what they're getting away with, that they, could, that they could stand in front of the American people and say without any shame whatsoever, no, I don't think you deserve unemployment benefits with no shame and even sometimes gloating over it. My message to Obama is that you need to take leadership on this issue and get it done, whatever it takes to get it done. If you have to lock Congress in a room until they pass it, if not, if you have to uh, sign an executive order, whatever it takes, this needs to happen. And you have not been doing that.